Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Magic here, coming at you with a video on how to fix shadow play. Recording the wrong monitor. I recently ran into this, I updated my windows. Never do. Decided, hey, why not? And, uh, yeah, it kind of broke shadow play, so... Hopefully, uh, I've got five different steps here. I'm hoping that one of these will be able to fix it for y'all. I'll have them timestamped in the description as well. I'm going to start out with the one that fixed it for me and my brother. He also had the same issue and it's it's been working ever since. So uh, we'll go from there. Also for the wallpaper, because uh, a lot of people have been wondering, this is from Wallpaper Engine on Steam. I'll have the actual wallpaper links in the descriptions going forward. Uh, I've also went back and added the links to those in the descriptions of the previous videos. So. Anyway, uh, jumping into it here, pretty much what we're going to be doing here today is uh, we're just going to be disabling your other displays and keeping your main one selected. We'll just restart your computer, re-enable them, and that's all you have to do. Then you should be good going forward. You don't have to do that every time you restart your computer, you know, nothing like that. I also meant to mention as well, when going through all these steps, just make sure you can press Alt-Z and just disable your instant replay. So it's just off entirely. That way you don't run into any problems and you might be able to do these steps without restarting your computer by doing that. But yeah, other than that, we'll just pick up where we left off. So uh, on your, your desktop, you just want to right click it, click on NVIDIA control panel. If for whatever reason that's missing, you can always go in the bottom right here, click that up arrow and then look for your NVIDIA settings, right click it and then hit control panel there. Either one works. Once it comes up, we want to go under display and then under setup multiple displays, we'll click on that. We want to make sure that your main display is the primary. So you can just right click it and just make sure that's checked. Um, if you want to, then this may, this may help. Uh, you can try setting your other monitor as your primary, right? And then you can just set it right back. Now your, your other monitors, all we're doing is we're just unchecking them. So we'll just uncheck these one by one till you got your main monitor selected. And that's all you can see on. Now, if you've got like icons on your other monitors and all that, it's probably gonna push them onto your main display. That's normal. Once you re-enable them, it should put them back. But uh, yeah, so disable these and then restart your computer. Um, once it comes back up, just re-enable your displays and you should be good. And you also don't have to restart it either. Uh, you might be, you know, fine from there. Uh, but that's what I did and it worked for me. I think my brother uh, just did that without restarting and it fixed it, so. Uh, whichever works, you know, um, but that that's what fixed it for me. So that's potential solution one uh, The next step that you can try is on your graphics card, right? Uh, if we go under like display settings here, you know, you, you've got everything numbered So this is display one and then on my left here I got my second display and then on my right I got my third display sometimes these might be out of order and for some people online, on their graphics card, they just kind of switched out the cable. So like, you know, uh, how they're plugged in right now, just kind of swap out that order. So like if if your main monitor is plugged in in the center here, and let's say it's it says one, two, three, if you switch the cable that's plugging into your graphics card, so that the one that's going to this, this monitor now would be going to this one, and then the one that's going to this one would be going to this one. You kind of just switch it out. It might switch those numbers around, if that makes sense. So you can try that, and then it might pull the right display. Fix it for some people, but it didn't fix it for me. So that's just a, another potential one we can try. That's a little confusing. All I'm trying to say is just switch the order of your cables. So if you've got like two display ports, uh, just switch out the order of those on your graphics card, and uh, that might work. The third one we can do is we can press Alt Z just to kind of bring up like the, the interface for GeForce Experience. Um, once we press that or, you know, whichever your key binding might be, you want to click on the gear wheel here. We'll scroll down to privacy control and you'd have to disable desktop capture. So what this does is, yeah, you won't be able to record, you know, all the time. Uh, but whenever you start a game, it's going to hook that like your GeForce Experience. And so it's it's hooked, you know, it's locked in and it'll record your gameplay. It's just be wary if you if you tab out, it might break it. So just kind of keep that in mind. But that worked for some people as well. Like if nothing else was working, they just disabled that. And then whenever they started a game, it would uh, it would pull that and then you know, it would record their gameplay. The fourth one requires a little bit of registry editing. And to get there, what we'll do is in the bottom left here, we just type in reg edit or registry editor, you know, whichever one. If for whatever reason that's not coming up, you can type in run down here in the bottom left and then type reg edit here and press OK. And that'll bring up this menu. I don't know if this this helped me fix it because my brother didn't have to do this. And uh, it you know that that first fix worked for him. 
before we tried doing this, but this might help if, you know, these other ones haven't been working. So I'm going to have this in the description or you can follow it here on screen. I'm going to pull up your, your graphics driver folder here. Once that's up, uh, we want to go under these two. So these are going to be the main ones we're looking at. It's configuration and connectivity. So under these, uh, this is basically what allows Windows, and I, I believe in a sense, to like recognize your monitors and how it all works. When I first opened this, I had a bunch of folders. It took me a little bit to go through them. Um, but all you'd want to do, you don't want to delete these, not configuration and connectivity, but the folders in them. You just want to delete all of these. Uh, what it will do is it basically lets Windows uh, recognize your monitors all over again as if you just plugged them in for the first time. After you erase these, just restart your computer and uh, it might mess up your display settings like maybe this monitor over here or on the other side, like it might have made them the primary. That's completely okay. You know, once it comes back up, just go under display settings and uh, click on the main monitor that you're using and then just check this right here. Make this my main display. I don't think it did that for me, but just in case if it does, you know, you've got that. So that might help with shadow play. And then, you know, if all else fails for solution number five here, you can always record with OBS. You know, th this is working. It's, it's how I record my, my tutorials. So uh, you can always do that. It's kind of like the old fashioned way, but it won't fail on you. You've got this as your last resort. But do want to thank y'all. I've got a Patreon link down below if you feel like supporting me on there. Uh, not too many perks. It's quite literally just to support me. I'm going to start doing this for the most part almost full time besides some other stuff on the side. So if you got any video suggestions, you can stop by the Discord and uh, leave them there or just comment them down below. I'm going to try to, to get a schedule put together for some new videos and tutorials, but it's all a work in progress. So I'll also have my Twitch link down below. So if you want to pop in there, a game on there, it's been a lot of hunt showdowns and stuff recently. So no if you want to pop in there, drop a follow. It's of course, greatly appreciated. Other than that, uh, yeah, thank y'all once again so much for the support. I'll likely be back on here soon. Not too sure what the next video is yet. I've got a bunch of them like all scripted out here, so we'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, thank y'all. I'll uh, see you next time.